back with another video and today in this video i'm gonna be talking about can you mix and match ram sticks specifically ddr4 well why i am making a pc related video again well let me talk about it in today's video i have bought a adata xpg 3000 megahertz ram which is this one and i got it in a pretty great deal from amazon i got it for about 4500 rupees with sbi credit card offer and i got someone's credit card to use for this purchase so i did it i would say a 16 gb 3000 megahertz ram for 4500 rupees is pretty great well i already have a 8 gb adata xpg installed on my pc and i would say that has been working good but it's not great 8 gb is not enough for video editing and stuff or even gaming for my work usage at least this wasn't simply enough and that's why i got this ram stick and i'll show you guys the differences on both like after installing both of them together and before installing the like 3000 megahertz 16 gb one what was the differences but first let me show you the unboxing of this ram then i'll show you the installation of this ram and then i'll show you the differences between like both of the scenarios with the single 8 gb stick and with the like 16 GB plus 8 GB stick, if it actually works. This is how the box packaging looks like. Matte black seems very nice. Cutting the seal and opening up the box, you get the beastly looking RAM. No such RGB glory here, but considering the price, the heatsink on it looks quite nice. On the top, it has a beautiful XPG branding in white and it's quite bright. The overall build quality in the hand feels quite superior and to the back you get the specs. This is a 3000MHz 16GB CL16 RAM so the cache latency of 16 is quite good. I would say again for the price. I have this H110M S2 motherboard on my PC and this only supports up to 2400 MHz. So on this motherboard both of the RAMs will be like locked up to 2400 MHz only. I know, I know it's pretty less than like when you see out there 3000 MHz people overclocking. So actually I bought the RAM stick just like not to use this with my like this PC. I have bought it because whenever I upgrade my PC in the future, I can use the 16 GB 3000 megahertz RAM stick and I can overclock it up to 4600 megahertz too, if I would like. So that's why I bought it. Well, I have a i5-7400 on my PC. So I would say for a i5-7400, yes, like if you total it almost 24 GB of RAM is totally a bottleneck. So don't get this kind of like huge amount of RAMs, but 116 GB stick should be enough. Or if you're like gonna get like 16 GB strictly, if you have like four slots, you can go with two 8 GB sticks for the dual channel support. Now let's install the RAM stick. Installing the RAM stick itself is one of the easiest tasks in the world. And you just need to match the middle notch and insert it with a little bit of pressure and you will hear a click. And of course you have to push the flaps out so that you can place the RAM correctly. And once you place it right, you will hear a click on the perfect placement. So all it takes is just a few minutes. So here is the IDA64 cache and memory kind of test. Well, if you want to see the differences, you can see it from the like speed test of the cache and memory of IDA64. Earlier with single channel, I was getting around 17,000 megabytes per second on the RAM speed. And right now with the dual channel, I am getting about 32,000 megabytes per second on the RAM speed with dual channel. So I would say that's a huge upgrade. And here I did a stress test so that like I can see if the PC is crashing between both of the, these RAMs. But actually it's pretty good to see that the PC did not crash and the test went well. Now in CPU-Z right now it shows as dual channel memory. But before it was on single channel. So that's good. I don't know how it's working 16 plus 8 on dual channel but yeah it's working on dual channel but of course in gaming and stuff i am noticing a big difference here like heavy games like pubg pc i would say i was like getting about 90 fps average earlier if i unlock the fps of course right now i would say it depends on the scenario where like there are a lot of people there are fps drops but right now the average will be about 110 or 100 and 
15 almost like it goes and it uses almost like 10 gigabytes of ram pretty much but yeah 24 gb is uh, overkill for this kind of pc i'm saying it again you don't need this much but i got it because of the video editing stuff so i'm not saying it will work with all ddr4 rams but I would say in most DDR4 RAMs, you can mix and match your memory and still get your work done pretty well. So there you have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.